Alright, yeah, welcome back to some more Magic Arena, and today we're going to be showcasing a little bit of Historic Brawl, mostly a Twitch highlight, actually, from uh, yesterday's stream. Uh, we ended up doing a little bit of Brawl with some viewers, and the one deck that stood out for us, actually, was this, this pile of nonsense. Uh, I will say it was mostly a mixed bag. Some games we just didn't play, and other games our opponents didn't play so it was kind of um what's the word i don't know it, it was kind of black and white either you lost miserably or your opponent lost miserably uh it's tachi over benthic druid anyway let's get into the commander a five mana three three whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control you gain one life and then you draw a card so what this deck is is essentially landfall matters and Landfall seriously does matter. Uh, up until the uh, gameplay that you're going to see today, I actually hadn't played the deck at all. And in fact, this is a deck that I'd built months ago and then changed slightly just before the stream. So absolutely zero experience piloting this deck going into it. I just had a general idea of what, I, what it's supposed to do and what I was going to do and what good hands probably should look like. So I guess we'll get into... Mostly how the deck's gonna win. The most of them should be pretty obvious. We've got Zendikar's Royal, we've got Field of the Dead, we've got Scoot Swarm, and Finale of Devastation. I think those are the win cons of the deck anyway. I don't know if there's any others. Uh I guess there's you know, there's a little bit of beat down plan in here, you know, we've still got Uro and Nissa and whatnot. Uh but I think these four are the ones that are gonna actually win the game. Oh no, we've got Sylvan Awakening as well. Fun card, not seen play in years. So, Field of the Dead should speak for itself. If you've got seven or more lands, including itself with different names, then every land enters the battlefield and creates a 2-2 zombie creature token. So, we make tokens that way. We also have Scoot Swarm, which has landfall, and as long as you have six or more lands, instead of making 1-1 one, one insect creature tokens, Scoot Swarm makes copies of itself instead. So, you know, every land entering is going to exponentially increase the amount of Scoot Swarms you make. Again, another token win con. Sylvan Awakening says, until you next your turn, uh, all lands become 2-2s with Indestructible and Reach and Haste. They're still lands, so for 3 mana you turn the rest of your lands into creatures and swing that way. Great for when you've ramped out. Uh, Zendikar's Royal is a 5 mana enchantment. Says, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you can create a 2-2 green elemental creature token as well. We do also have Risen Reef in here to trigger off of that elemental thing, because this says whenever an elemental enters the battlefield, then you look at the top card of your library, and if it's a land, it enters the battlefield tapped. So if you reveal a land off Risen Reef, then you trigger R Zendikar's Royal again. It's not a, an infinite combo by any means, but it's certainly an interaction anyway uh, that we hope to exploit. And then Finale of Devastation, we're going to be ramping quite high. So if we can get Finale of Devastation to X10, we can give all of our creatures plus X plus X uh, until the end of the turn. And Haste as well. So, you know, our Scoot Swarms are going to be ra rather massive. Yes. Um, so yes, uh, it's pretty much got most of the stuff that you should expect. We've got extra land drop spells in Explore. Uh, Lotus Cobra to a certain extent, I suppose. This enters and gives you mana. Florahedrons, uh, Mana Dark, Signet. Uh, we've got lots of Azusas, Dryads, and Sword Tooths, and also Oracle of Muldyas. All of these say you can play an additional land. Some of them say you can do different things as well. Uh, we can play from our graveyard with Ramanap Excavator and Ancient Green Warden. Ancient Green Warden also gives you uh, double ETB triggers as well. So lands entering triggers Field of the Dead twice, uh, triggers Tatiova twice, and so on and so forth. And yeah, there's, I guess there's a couple of other combos as well with the Dryad of the Elysian Grove. We turn all of our lands into all basic land types, so... All of our lands become forests, which means even our colorless terramorphic expanses become forest for Nyssa, so we can massively ramp that way as well. Um, a Shire can turn all of our creatures into lands, so whenever a creature enters the battlefield, or a non-token creature specifically, we can trigger a Scoot Swarm, for example. And also, all of our creatures being lands with different names uh, triggers Field of the Dead that way. And yeah, you know, there's just lots, lots and lots to go about here. Uh, today's video is going to showcase this deck going absolutely insane and also whiffing horrifically. So hopefully you enjoy. If you do, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get to it. 
This video is brought to you by the generous support of our wonderful patrons and channel members that you see here. If you'd like to support the channel and get access to cool content like sneak peeks, bonus videos, polls on future content, or access to a personal deck critique from myself every month, then hit the join button down below, or check out the Patreon link in the description. With all that said, let's get into the gameplay. Ooh, Simic on Simic action. I think we've played against this deck before. I don't know if it was Kappa who brought it against us. Uh, yeah? Sounds okay, right? Sounds okay. So for those that don't know what Tashana does, because it's not a very common card to see on Arena these days, seven mana for a seven seven, power and toughness equal to the number of cards in your hand. So not necessarily a seven seven. It says you have no maximum hand size, and when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card for each creature you control. If I remember rightly, it was kind of like a Merfolk Elf Ball kind of style deck. It's been a while since I played against it though, so who knows? Who knows truly? Not a bad card, actually. Mostly because I think it's probably correct to do this. If they did nothing, then we did the growth spiral plan instead. <laughs> yeah, sad times. All right, let's see if we can hit something nice. That's quite nice. So let's crack that. Let's grab a forest. Play you. Get rid of you and you. And we got four mana up to six mana. So we're doing our thing. I think we're doing our thing. Boop, boop. God, this music's been on point today. I'm all over it. So this doesn't let you play additional lands, interestingly enough. Does that mean it's co the correct play to make anyway, though? So we can't Fable Passage or something like that. Alternatively, I could just go with this, or even this as well is also fine. I think we'll go with the Ancient Green Warden though. Let's just thin the deck a, a wee bit. It doesn't really matter too much that these don't fetch anything later because just entering and exiting should be all we need. All right, so they draw four up to a seven, seven. A sizable threat. So we're gonna we're gonna play Susie. She's lost. But at the end of the chat, she's seeking. And that's admirable. Okay, uh only a forest left in the deck, right? So we can play an island. Should be playing you as well. And I think this is the last land I can play. Oh, it wasn't. Dang it. That's a problem. All right. Um, well, let's play the forest then. Those are draws. Boop. Draw two. These are cards. All right. Uh, discard three. One, two, and... Uh, I don't know. Is this too slow? This is too slow. No, it's not too slow. It's fine. Get, oh, oh, that one. All right. Just grab it. Get rid of lines. That's okay. It really is. We, we've actually been through, uh, I think, all spectrums of jazz today. 
Small scale quartal. We've had like fusion jazz. We've had like blues jazz. Scat jazz. <laughs> Alright, Woodland Mystic. Alright. That's a thing. So does that just win us the game? I don't know what this hits anymore. <laughs> I'm scared to use it, to be completely honest. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Too flashy to ignore, too fast to catch. Ah, that's exactly what we were looking for. I'm pretty sure that was exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, because it's a forest with a different name, so now it triggers the field of the dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh God, green, green. Uh, I guess a little bit of this will, will go amiss. Pretty brutal, right? Always have a backup plan. We'll see if you do. <laughs> Let's see if you do. Uh, then we go with you. On you, I suppose. 26 cards. No biggie. I'm just going to have blue here because we can add... Ooh, this is a nice song. Okay, th this one. I don't know what... What am I supposed to do, chat? Is it like, do this? Six, seven, eight, nine... I guess we play Sword Tooth for an additional land drop. God damn. <laughs> oh god. Uh it's a bit of green. It's like we're actually ramping by playing our ramp. And then like really what I want is Nissa with my dryad. So let's do seven, eight, nine. We're almost there, chat. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, sure. Green, 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 green. Keep, <laughs> keep on greening. Always be greening, chat. Um, tap you and you, and then it's ten, twelve, twenty-five, fifteen. I mean, is that what we want to do? Oh, we'll play it. We'll play Dryad as well, like, because <laughs> we can. <laughs> uh, Serena's new single player. Yep, it is indeed. It's a battle royale. You got. You got to get all the um, all the rare loot drops. Otherwise, you kind of don't stand a chance. Um, I'll play play you. Oh my god, seventeen cards. I'm so sorry, Kappa. I kind of feel like you signed up for this, but at the same time, I'm still sorry. <laughs> Let's make you a nice even number. I think we somehow got turned around, quite possibly. Alright, so this is now 21. I don't know if there's any point to doing what I'm doing. I'll make that abundantly clear. There we go. And I might have killed myself, actually. Or did I, um... Yeah, I, I deck myself. <laughs> I thought it shuffled things in, but apparently we had too many. All right, I don't actually know how I was going to win from there, except for by just passing the turn, and where's the fun in that? <laughs> Where is the fun in that, chat? Oh, God, this is so fun. I love this deck. I don't think there's much of a way I get away with this, like, if they bring back Historic Brawl as a ladder. Like... There's just too much chance to get massacre wormed and board wiped, I think, but 
It's, it's so cool. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. GGZ. <laughs> this is true. All right, let's have a look. Um, I mean, I mean, sure, let's do it. Grackmore Skyclave Ravager. Been meaning to build a standard brawl deck with this one. Definitely not right now. That'll get shuffled back in later. Yeah, this card's pretty cool in standard brawl at the moment. That's pretty cool right now. Huh. Especially comboed with this. So I think we go straight for that. We go... Do we do that? So if I was to play Dryad into this, I would sack. If it lived, cool. If it didn't, cool. <laughs> yeah, I think, so. I think it's cool either way. Uh, let's get rid of you and you. Keep this for this. God damn, girl! Okay. So now we undo the damage that Lotus Field did. And we ramp. Grabbing one of you. Not too bad start. Not too bad of a start. Solemn Simulacrum. We might be... A little bit too uh, comboy for our opponent here. We'll have to see. All right, so I can do. Let's make sure I do this right. I want to do that, that, that. I guess they're all forests anyway, right? So it doesn't really matter. Do this. Followed by. This, followed by this, followed by this. <laughs> Land enters the battlefield, by the way. Followed by this, and then this. Uh, yeah. Crack this. Grab this. Alright. Cool. So all my creatures are lands, but also all my lands are forests. Just, just let you pass that one for a couple of minutes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a thing. It just occurred to me that this is a standard deck. You know, once you play the Drana, it becomes quite obvious. <laughs> Once that drowner comes down, it's like, hang on. You might be onto something there. This is a number. Okay. Just so, we're, I guess we're just clear on that one. All right, let's start drawing. Uh, we're gonna play this. Then this. Then this. Uh, then this. <laughs> then this. <laughs> then this. Then this. Then that. I think we've solved the format, chat. Um, then that. 
Does so this dead do anything? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not quite sure. It, maybe. Um, so that's two, four, six. I've still got eight mana left to go. Let's do this. This. The game might be crashing. Got 20 cards left, okay. So then we'll do this. Uh, this. <laughs> uh, the game might be struggling. Oh, there we go. Um, I still haven't even activated my Nissa yet. Oh, I could play Seagate Reborn for my graveyard. That's why that's there. Uh, play that. That's a card. Oh, combo chat. I've just realized. Um, may play an additional land on each of your turns. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play lands from the top of your library. What does this actually say? No, I'm talking... Oh, well, I'm going to draw it anyway, so... 17 cards, the, the game is chugging. <laughs> it's chugging so badly. Um, I need to not deck myself. Zemedeus, I, I just want you to not scoop. I just want you to not scoop. Because of this. I need to. I absolutely need to. Unless, unless the game's crashed for you, I don't know. It, it certainly appears like it might have crashed. Because I sure as hell can't do anything. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Okay, okay. We're, we're hoping it's fine. I'm wondering whether or not I have a way of winning on the spot right now, because I don't think I have, like, Thassa's Oracle. Oh, there we go! Uh, it's just it's just that there's 130 triggers on the stack. No biggie. No biggie, chat. <coughs> it's just 130 triggers on the stack. Um... Oh god, what do you even do now? Do I even play a land? Do I dare play a land? Oh, you know I dare. I dare. This is gonna be, yeah, this is gonna be a fun mobile deck. <laughs> okay. I like how the, the token limit's been reached, so it's like, oh, you can have 191 Scoot Swarms, but you can only have seven of your 2-2s. Two yeah, we've hit the token cap. I should probably just stop playing things because it's actually making no difference anymore. I just want to know how much mana I've got. And you know what the really silly thing is, chat? I used to have Nyx Blue Mansion in this deck and I took it out. Right about now is when I really, really want Nyx Bloom Ancient in my deck. Because all my lands are tripled, and all my Scoots forms are lands. Oh god. Actually, no, they're not, are they? It's only, oh, only non-token creatures of forests. Yeah, never mind. It's not as much as I thought it would be. When we played, please don't hit me with this. I don't want to send you a new bill for my new laptop. Yeah... It's a thing, all right. We're just uh, we're just waiting ten minutes for the game to catch up. <laughs> oh god. Well, I will say it, though, considering um, considering mobile's coming out soon, and this is the state that it's going to be uh, released in. Your mobiles are going to be really good as a bed warmer. Just like set up a scoot swarm deck. Put it under your quilt, right? And then come back in five minutes and it'll be like there's been a radiator under your bed and it's nice and warm, cozy, ready for sleep. This is server lag. Oh, God. 
<laughs> I didn't think this would happen. Really didn't. I knew it would do something silly. Like the the goal was to like scape shift and scoot swarm. It was to get to this token limit, but like the amount of combos that I shoved into this deck that we've managed to pull off here, it's pretty unreal. Only available during winter in your region, yeah. You can only do it in the liquid nitrogen chambers. Oh, oh, there we go. So I, I thought the whole point of the token limit was to stop this. That was my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently we still managed to break the game. Even with a token limit. Maybe they should lower it a bit. Hmm. What are my impressions about the next set? I'm very excited. I think the world tree is probably going to be a tier deck and it's going to be extremely annoying, like uh, Field of the Dead. Uh, I think a lot of the coolest cards in that format are just strictly worse than a lot of things that Eldrain are doing. So I don't think too much is going to change. Um, other than that, I'm really excited. I think it's got a really cool theme to it. Lots of solid cards. And it looks like it'd be make, a, make for a really good Omniscience draft as well. <laughs> Alright, Ekimos is on Yarok. Uh, Don't take many guesses to assume Yarok's got a massacre worm in it. <laughs> Is this unkeepable? It's not right. Ah. Um, this hand is, I suppose. Between this, this, and having these two, plus this, should be decent enough. I think it's actually mammoth. Why is the world tree not legendary? Um, Mara did actually come out and mention that the reason why it's not legendary is because legendary lands are a feels bad. I would argue that losing to a broken land that should be legendary is a bigger feels bad. Alright, let's go with the uh, Arcane Signet. Oh, here we go. Crazy jazz. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a one mana one two strictly better um, thing as well. That is t that is true. All right, so we are gonna go with you. Into you, sack you and you, and see where we go from there. They didn't mention Field of the Dead a single time. Oh, Valakut as well. I'm of the opinion that if a land does something insane and it has a name like Dave or Peter, Peter the Broken Land, it should probably be legendary. Because obviously, Dave and Peter are legendary names. Everyone knows this. All right, so we do actually have a Tachi over here, which is quite nice. I don't know what we're going to do with this Tachi over, because it's probably already dead, because I'm just going to do this and pass. <laughs> but, you know, it's there. That being said, like, the world tree is broken. It's probably going to be really unfun, but I also have some cool ideas for it, so... Oh, my. At the end of the day, there is that option. Uh, okay. Let's think about this. Let's not die to Massacre Worm. What are my alternative plays? Play you. You and you. I think we're going to go with Green Warden. Play the Mammoth, draw two, gain two, and then pass, discarding probably the Mimic. I 
World Tree and Golos. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much. Haha, <laughs> Scoot Swarm. Oh boy. So what happens when uh, two players hit the token limit? I actually think the way that the game is programmed, Ekimos benefits the most from the token limit. Because from what I noticed in the previous game is it gives you these tokens first because they entered first. Field of the Dead for Ekimos entered first, which means it should prioritize these entering. I don't know though. I guess it's uh, ordering triggers naturally. You can do it yourself. Either way, he has a feel that and I don't, so... We'll see. Maybe we're just dead. Okay, two mana left into a wall of blossoms. Draw four cards. Good lord. So I haven't drawn any, like, extra land drop cards, and I think that's really where this deck does most of its work. <laughs> I see what you're doing, Ekimos, and I could punish you for it, but I'm not going to. Because I respect it. Hang on. Uh, yeah, there you go. Normally I would punish a stranger on the internet and laugh <laughs> as I go, ha ha, read cards. Uh, but, you know, I don't read cards either, so... It's mostly overrated. So I guess this is our turn. And try to keep up with what our opponent's doing, which is going to be pretty hard, but we'll try. Dumps a Panharmonicon, wow. Yeah, I think we go with the Royal. Let's do untap land. Okay, those are bad cards. Let's just do Rejuvenator then, I guess. Never whiffed with Rejuvenator in my entire life. Uh, I'm going to scry first, thank you. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Uh, it's a good card, but I don't want it. I want that. That's pretty good. I don't know what it does for me. Because, <laughs> again, I kinda, this deck really demands that you have your deck list open, I think, at all times. And I'm obviously not doing that. Alright. It could be that my win con here is a client crash once we hit the token limit. Because Yarok doubling their triggers, if my deck crashed the game, doubling triggers with Yarok sure as hell should. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm going for. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Double create hoof. Alright. About to draw into it eventually, I guess. No blocks, because blocking is for cowards. I'll take my damage, and I'll enjoy it, okay? 364. Never felt better. Yeah, we don't have create hoof in our deck, I don't think. Maybe I should... Ooh, hello. That's a card. This is the uh, Demonic Tutor one, I think, isn't it? I go first. Oh, Magic the Gathering, you're spoiling me. Razaketh, the Foul-Blooded. Five and three black for an 8-8 eight, eight with Flying and Trample. Pay two life and sack another creature to search your library for a card and put it into your hand. Yes. All right. So I like these as long as I draw lands. Or a way of, you know using my lands. Who knows? Boo Hiss. Alright, we're gonna get the Growth Spiral out of our hands. Meh. Meh. 
I think I'm fine with most anything getting uh, discarded here. Green Warden's kind of the combo nonsense payoff, right? But it is what it is. We'll go with a sword tooth for now, I suppose. Land and pass. Drunk souls when? I don't know. I would definitely not be doing it on whiskey, though. You're out of your mind if whiskey... If you think whiskey's a good uh, alcohol for that. No, no, no. We play it with beer, and even beer is too much. Alright, forest. Beautiful. Actually, completely ideal. So, we're gonna go get Field of the Dead. And... Anything non-basic, I guess. We'll grab maybe a command tower. Actually, no. Garen Briggs probably the best one here. Hey, two some zombies. Swing for five. Beautiful. <laughs> Weak. Yeah, we'll play it for ten minutes though. That'll be okay. All right, there's Dread Presence. Phyrexian Tower. Famously, not a swamp. <laughs> Make it more entertaining until you collapse. I uh, won't argue with that. Hmm. This puts it into my hand if I want to, which is what I want to do, I think. Yeah, we'll go with Rhythm Reef. Interesting. Then it's three to activate you, so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I do want to make my land drop for the turn. Never mind. That's a good card, though. And we'll get the pressure on. We don't mind losing a 2-2 here. Take seven. Okay, so goodbye Risen Reef. Yeah. Isn't it a shame that um, Ashaya doesn't say all creatures anywhere are lands? So honestly, I was really hoping it would, so that then Oracle of Muldaya could play it off the top. <laughs> or lands, creatures in your graveyard could be lands as well. It's a bit of a shame. Take care, Akamos. Thanks for hanging out. Simeras can play now. All right. You can uh, you can jump in the queue here, I suppose. After this game, since we skipped you already. I think we're just going with the Oracle. Does that like really screw me? I play it, I sack, sack. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. It kind of really screws me. I guess it depends on what else is on top. You want know just YOLO. Whatever. <laughs> just YOLO. It's fine. That one and that one, please. And then we'll go. I've got to be a little bit careful about Razaketh because Razaketh can get naughty things, and we don't like our opponent getting naughty things. Because this is a really good turn for this, I think. Actually, it's not. It's not even slightly a good turn for it. Let's cycle Migration Path. Yeah, that's what we want. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
There you go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think I can play that. I am absolutely wrong. Never been more wrong in my entire life. Still a fine drawer, I suppose, though. Radiant Fountain. So, uh, what are your two twos? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I think we've got lethal. Oh, we be sacking. Don't know if they can find anything, though. It really changes it here. Radium Fountain was their land for the turn, so... There's no Dread Presence triggers. I think we get to win the fancy way. Just play you. We'll just go for this now. Uh, Sylvan Awakening. All my lands become tutus. Eardrums burst. Life totals drop. Now, I've not done the proper math on this, but... Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're good. We'll see. To the top. So they're up at 22. They do have also an AR trigger, but that doesn't give them, yeah, doesn't give them life on a sack if it mattered. Which I'm wondering. If it did give them life on a sack, it would matter. Wow, <laughs> they're at zero exactly. Oh man, that was close. Hmm.